technical people like us, engineers, scientists, etc., usually fall into. Uh, I think maybe a single word description of that would be like solutionism. Or going off the deep end. Yeah, you, I mean, you, you have a solution, <laughs> right? So if you're an academic, for instance, uh, you have your method that you devised uh, during yeah. your, let's say, PhD or, or whatever, your academic research uh, career. And then you think that that thing is a sledgehammer and everything is like a nail. And then you try to <laughs> just like address each of those nails with your sledgehammer. Um, but in reality, things are not working like that. Uh, whatever may be great academic work may not be a good commercial product or commercialization candidate even. That's why it should actually start backwards. Instead of like going from a solution to commercialization, you should actually go and talk to customers first, figure out what is needed out in the market, and then devise a solution to that. Sometimes if you are lucky, that solution may be uh, just your sledgehammer or just yeah. your, I don't know, baby, academic baby or whatnot. But sometimes, and most of the time, in my opinion, it requires assembling a bunch of nuggets essentially using a toolbox instead of just a sledgehammer, toolbox of, uh, uh, full of different types of tools, bringing them together to provide a solution to the customer, to pro provide a, a product to the customer, right? So um, it is hard uh, when, when you are, again, thinking of it from, a, from an academic's perspective, like you are essentially uh, taking off your uh, ego uh, uh, jacket and then hanging it at the door before you walk into a startup and, and try start building a product. Um, uh, but if you can do that kind of separation, then, then you'll be off to a good start.